right now, here's one of my favorite ladies. I've, I've been having a, a lot of wonderful ladies all week. And, uh... Go away. It's not very nice. Morning. <laughs> Morning. How are you? Good, yeah. Go. Lovely. There's, 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 there's your bike, mate. Uh. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to today's video. We're in Barcelona because we're here for a few days covering the Red Hook Madness, which is Red Hook Crit Barcelona. Does that make sense? Welcome to Spain. Hey. What's that? Padron Peppers. Pa pa peppers? Padron Peppers. What does that mean? A really hot. So we've just had a uh, bit of a siesta. Obviously the flight was very early, so we ended up with only about three hours sleep last night. Feeling much better now. It's about six o'clock. We're waiting for Stu, who you may remember from almost exactly a year ago in these videos. Him and his girlfriend Abril are very kindly letting us stay with them. Today he's flying back after helping support his brother do a bike race. I'll get him to explain more. That's the most stairs in the world ever. Yeah, it's not fun getting bucked down. It's not fun getting bucked up either. There's a hell of a lot of good viewpoints in Barcelona, isn't there? The man on a parachute. How long have we been riding? Uh, 1.5 kilometers. And we've already managed to view Climb the whole up city. The mountain. Like six minutes we've done so far. <laughs> this, Amy, that there. One. Is Nelson's column. Oh yep. He's been standing on the top of there since the Battle of Trafalgar. Does he stand on all of them? Yeah, he's, Same yeah, 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 well, he does shifts. Ah, okay. He comes on holiday, stands on the Barcelona one, goes back to London, stands on the London one. Barcelona is quite a nostalgic place for me. It was about a year ago today that I came here for Red Hook, and it was one of my first ever successful event videos basically. And this is your first time here? Yes. What's your first impression? It's hot. Hot? Mm. Nice though. Should probably have learned some Spanish. Huh? Should probably have learned some Spanish. We probably should have learned some Spanish, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know cabeta. I don't know what it means though. Beer. It's close to beer anyway. No, that's cerveza. Well then what was the first one you said? Cabeta. Oh, I don't know what that is. See, the weather was so good, and as soon as we arrived, it's changed to like thunderstorms. It'll change again. Maybe it's like Bangalore where it says it's going to rain and then never actually does. Maybe. Welcome back to the videos, mate. You put a moustache on. Yeah. How did you know? Helps me think. Do you do the strokey thing as well? Can't not. That's I, why, I that's keep getting in trouble with Amy for doing that. That's why I kept it. This is the only part I touch. What does Abril think? What do you think? I wish I had one to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it tomorrow. That's not the same reaction that Amy has. Are <laughs> <laughs> you brushing your teeth? We go for food. Oh, I've got a new toothbrush. Oh, do we? As much as possible. <laughs> oh, exciting. Right. Where are we go? We're going for Chinese. I don't know. Well, we might be going for Japanese. Ooh. What do you think? Yeah. About Japanese. And it's like. Or you can eat, see. So, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know me too well. You can always order more. Fools of, um, you can order as much as you want, but you have to finish the plate. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll finish the plate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you make all them? Sushi maker. <laughs> you got it. Pump it up. Pump it up. Pump it up. You got it. Before we sleep, I want a bedtime story. <laughs> and the story I want is. The one about where you've just been. Uh huh. Pull up a chair, my friend. And what has your brother just done? Um, he did the Swedish Ultra Bike 610, uh, which is. <laughs> just a chair in the middle of the yeah, room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Center. <laughs> uh, Swedish Ultra Bike 610, which is 
610 kilometre race in Sweden, like one stage race basically. So yeah, just like all these ultra marathon bike races that. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it's a, yeah, there's a lot of them, isn't there? They're but quite probably only one in Sweden. Yeah, it's in fact this one's only been going two years apparently. Um, and so you what? Yeah. You went out and you supported him. Yeah, he he asked me to go and support him, so I did, because I'm a top brother, best brother ever. Um, so yeah, we started in Sherping, which actually is coping, but apparently it's pronounced Sherping. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know he was looking really good and he's really strong. Like he he just had a pretty tiring week because he was he's been doing some like. Uh, brand ambassador stuff for Paz Normal and so he was in Copenhagen the week before and I think he was pretty knackered and not getting much sleep or anything. How far did he have to ride? So 610k, yeah. it's like a one stage race. So he, yeah he was going really well um, but then his hip started to hurt, like the top of his right hip. So I was giving him like bit of a massage and stuff and we dropped his saddle a bit because I thought probably he's reaching too far on his right side maybe his right leg is shorter than his left leg so his right side is having to work harder and he's, pro not, bike had a, fit. Yeah, he's not, had a, not had a pro bike fit has he no. I think that was his main one of one of the main problems but then we got to yeah. Sunna at like which was checkpoint seven I think at like 342 kilometers and he was still in second, he'd been in second for a while and he was only like half an hour behind the guy that was leading. And the guy that was leading was an absolute hulk. He'd been like, apparently he'd been training, doing like 500 kilometer training rides with his dad. <laughs> like, or something <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his dad, I think, was just living his life through his son, like his life with his son. I see. Uh, but, um, but anyway, like, regardless, that guy was super, super strong. He was just... Yeah, fair dues to the lad. Like, he was super strong. And in the end, that lad ended up breaking the course record and winning. Uh, but yeah, Chris called it a day after 400 because he was, he was riding into the night and it got really cold. Apparently, Anna, Chris's, Chris's girlfriend, she's from Sweden, um, she was saying that it was unusually cold and it got very cold and Chris has had asthma since he was a, a wee little bubba. So... I think when it's cold and when he's like doing sport, it becomes Makes more. It flare up. Yeah, it becomes more profound, and he got a really tight chest. He got really mucusy. He was struggling to breathe, and we we pulled up next to him in the car and we're like, "Chris got four hundred because we were like, he's not stopped now. Like, if he's gonna stop, now's the time. Like, because you four hundred k in, yeah. there's only two hundred left. Like, if he's not thrown in the towel now, like, he's he's gonna do it. And we were like, oh, he's gonna do it. And then he was just, yeah, he was in, he was, yeah, he was in tatters, really. He didn't go. He didn't go no, like, his hip was just, like, totally fucked. And he was, like, he was totally shattered, I think, from the week and from the ride. And I, I don't think his legs were fine. Like, the the distance wasn't the problem. He could have kept going. If he, if it wasn't for his hip and his chest, I think, he could have, he could have kept going till the end and probably he'd have come second or who knows like might have caught that lad up he averaged 30 kilometers an hour for the for the distance that he did over the 400k which is insane which yeah it's pretty it's pretty decent he wasn't going slow no and it was really fun like supporting him being support car like throwing food at him and just throwing it at him yeah throwing people at him yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone anyway people can read up on like what he's done has he got a blog or yeah he has uh, what is it it's called link down below link down below <laughs> I think it's Marshall oh, I'm a terrible uh, market for my brother. brother it's called Marshall but like M-A-R-S then Hull like the place not like our name our actual name ah. but like wait Marshall. is it your blog too no 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 it's, it's his blog it's just called Marshall underscore and then I think it's dot com link down below link down below yeah good night for now there's a lot of Red Hook people turning up in the next few days. So the city's going to be overtaken by fixed gear nuts. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>